Hi, I'm May, and this is the Poly Tunnel. I'm down the allotment today, and I've been off for the last three weeks and unable to come down at the allotment and able to do anything down here. But all good now. Thank you for the nice comments saying about how much weight I've lost of my face and such like. So thank you very much for all the lovely comments, and that's wonderful. But we've got work to do. The tomatoes were killed off with blight and we've just got a few tomatoes left growing in the polytunnel. We are now in November, they're looking a bit wrinkly. So now they're pretty much done. So that's the last of the tomatoes. So the tomatoes this year pretty rubbish the cold weather to start off the year was pretty cold and the fight the fruit didn't really grow too much and the, this is the tigerella and as you can see the stripy tomatoes and we had a real good crop of this the year before but hey ho it's another year next year and we'll have to do better. So my first job of the day today is to clear the tomatoes and we'll have a look at the pumpkins down the end. So as we were self-isolating all over Halloween we was unable to come down to the allotment to get the pumpkins but the pumpkin arts worked quite well and we've got quite a few pumpkins. There's two here, a couple over here. There's a couple in the chair. And then we can see the arch. The arch was very successful. We've got a couple of pumpkins hanging down from the arch. And that was really, really good. But everything has pretty much died off now. So all these can be cleared. The dwarf marigolds have really taken over and yes they are supposed to be dwarf and now they're what approximately five foot tall hmm so the grape has gone quite crazy over the last few weeks but unfortunately all the grapes have died off. We've got a couple of bunches left, but most of them have died off now, which is very unfortunate. But we did get some grapes and we have tasted them. And they were good. So this is the broad beans we planted and we did this around three weeks ago. And we never got to the polytunnel, but they have grown. We've been picking up the moisture from the ground and from the polytunnel. They've actually done quite well considering they had no water and they've had to fend for themselves. But I do notice that we've got a critter's hole again. This is where the hole on the polytunnel is made. I've covered up the hole with this plastic sheet behind but now he's decided to come out of the middle. So. That's rather annoying. The critters are still around. So, first job of the day today is so we're going to stake up these broad beans. They're getting quite tall now, so they can be staked up. I'm just using a cane, inserting it by the 
board beam and we've got these plastic ties and it's a bit of a zip tie I'm just gonna stand these out and then these can talk can grow proud and grow up instead of going across the floor. We've got the watering system in here that during the winter when we had the ice in the last few days we turned the water system off so it's actually no longer working at present as I didn't want the system to clog up so we're just Hanging these up and these can be ready to be eaten by Easter. So we're well looking forward to that. There we go. First job of the day. This one's standing proud on its own. But we give it some support. When it gets tall, it will get heavy and then it will topple over. But these ones, I believe, as I've got no label, which is a real big mistake, but I believe these are the Sutton. And if these are the Sutton, then they'll only be a draw board beam, so they won't grow too tall. But it's good to see some growth in the polytunnel during this winter time. There we go. Really pleased by that. We've also got a new batch in the polytunnel, and those are to go outside. And they've grown on a bit more. There we go. One more in the back row. And that's that job done. Great job to do on a wet day. There we go, all done. So I'm going to harvest all the pumpkins that we have got and then we can remove all of the plant and we can get it clear. They're quite spiky and quite so, pumpkin in the polytunnel idea did really well. Although they're not big, they did grow. And they did actually grow for Halloween, although we didn't get there in time. So that's not bad, two pumpkin plants, quite a few pumpkins. So that's not too bad, quite a few pumpkins grown in the polytunnel from two plants. So we've got about 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About 20 pumpkins and two plants grown in the polytunnel on the pumpkin arch with very little water. I've seen that success. So one of my jobs I keep putting off when I come down here is removing these tomatoes. Seems a bit final but they're no longer doing any good so they've got to come out. It's no good leaving them in. They're only going to cause problems but I do need to remove the drip system first. So we've got to do that first. So this was the irrigator waterless solar panel watering system and it did really good in the polytunnel and I'm really really pleased with the results. I hadn't had to come in here and water the tunnel and even the sunflower enjoyed the water and this wasn't even supposed to be grown in here. I left the sunflower in the pot and it was our sunflower competition and I totally lost the pot that I grew it in and I found it when the sunflower started to grow but even now the compost around where the plants were is still very damp <clears throat> which is a good result of the irrigatia watering system So the grape has gained another metre in length and I'm going to continue this down the polytunnel and it can follow on down along the end. And when I strung up the tomatoes I used this string and I strung the string, tied a knot on the bars and I wrapped the tomatoes around the string as they grew and that's worked really well. Previous years I've used a cane and the tomatoes have just slipped down the cane. So I'm just removing this string and these are going to go as this got blight I'm going to put them on the bonfire pile and at the weekend we can have a good bonfire and we're going to burn everything and these are the ringos that we used and as you can see the roots are not hugely deep underneath the ringo and I think it has improved the growing and there we grow we do need to move as much of the root as we can so once all the tomato plant has been removed we're going to dig around in the soil give it a dig a couple of times removing every little bit of root just to stop any diseases that may be on the root on the, root in the soil so we're getting a bit of pumpkin plant, a bit of tomato plant, all mixed in together here. The pumpkin went pretty crazy in this tunnel. And it's gone all the way along the back there. All the way along the back. Watermelons, they didn't happen this year. We need more practice with the watermelon, a bit more space. We did have one tiny watermelon and there's one in my previous video. We never got to harvest it and it's been eaten since then. So that was a real shame. So I'm just going to carry on removing all these tomato plants and the five foot marigolds 
which is actually a dwarf marigold. Well, I'm pretty sure it's been crossed with something. As it is, well, this is six foot tall. I'm six foot, and that marigold is six foot more. Crazy. There we go. Good job to get this all done now. Get it all removed. Nice clean start. So here we go, we've now got all the tomatoes removed and just making sure any other roots of the plants are removed, just giving it a dig over. Removing any larger of the roots. Don't do that. Some of the roots can get quite long. Removing any bramble here. Uh, was the egg we planted underneath the tomato and the eggshell is still still there have a look back at my video and you'll see why I planted an egg underneath the tomato plant So we're all looking good. So the first section has been done until we look at the pumpkins. So I have this lettuce growing in the shed and I that's a good opportunity. Now I've got a bit of space in the polytunnel to stick some in. So I'm just going to do a few. I'm just going to place them in. There we go. Taking some of the bigger ones. And we'll give it a go. And this is just all year round lettuce. And it'd be good to get some lettuce in the polytunnel during the winter time. There we go. Put some lettuce in. What we need now is the label sorted. <laughs> 